What's up guys, this is Gabe from Best in Peace Innovations and today we're gonna to talk about our built 5BZ. Toyota 5BZs, they came in Toyota 4Runners, they came in S-Runners, they came in Tacomas, and T100s. 3.4 liter dual overhead cam, and it is belt driven. This has the Toyota reliability, definitely has the durability, and it's definitely gonna make that power. You guys know what I'm talking about. Okay, we're gonna CC a 5VZ piston right now. Clear piece of plexiglass here. A little bit of red grease right around the outsides. And then in the center, we got all the carbon off of it. That's why we can try to get an accurate reading. The 5VZ here, I was gonna mock it up and do it in here, but we're working on some piston design. So the difference between this and doing it in the vise is that the gap in here may alter the piston volume plus the height, or in this case, the below deck diameter versus 3,000th depth could alter our piston volume where we won't have an accurate volume count when we go to get our pistons designed. So I decided to do that here, clean it up, put it in a vise. What we got is some mineral spirits mixed with a little bit of transmission fluid for color. We have our beaker here. So let's fill this beaker up and check our volume. Going half string now, we zeroed it out before we started. Made sure everything was right at our mark, right at zero. And we're filling it up slowly. Chino, go ahead and get in here a little bit. You can see how it's filling. About half the flow rate, we can see the, there's a bubble developing. We wanted this to lean a little bit so the bubble will eventually come into the fill side so everything comes in completely flat and then we get a good accurate reading. So what is this that we're doing? We're measuring the piston volume. This dish here is a certain volume amount and that's what we're measuring right now. Now we look from zero down, we have 23, just about 23 cc's to the bottom of the bubble because that's what we're measuring. Here is the bottom of the bubble and there's a line right there. It's a 23 cc piston volume. Now we're measuring the combustion chamber in its most raw stock form. This is important to do this before any type of machine work. This way we know exactly what it is in stock. It's and a half. Always a win win with Arius Pistons. Some good old fashioned horsepower goodness right there. We got all of our rings. And then the best for last. Oh, look at that. Would you look at that? Ooh, would you look at that? Our custom piston here. Look at that. Nice thick ring land. That is nice. Put a little bit extra meat in there. 9.1 to 1 compression ratio. This is just beautiful, beefy, solid. Not gonna break anything. Wrist pins are stout. I have no doubt. These pistons here, design these pistons for your average 600 horsepower guy, 800 horsepower guy, but I have no doubt these pistons will support every bit of 1500 horsepower or more. Change the wrist pins and 15 plus all day long. So not that we're trying to send everybody 1500 horsepower, no, but we wanna make sure that the pistons are strong enough to support your 600 horsepower needs or 800 horsepower needs. And basically not much of a difference between three digit horsepower and four digit horsepower. Biggest difference really being it's just the, the rings and how the motor's put together. We do have, like I said, our rods. We're excited to put those into action here. This is a set of rods we had made so far everything measures out good so we've got some good parts here we got some good uh we got bearings somewhere i don't know where they're at we got pistons we got rods and we got an engine that we're going to tear down today send it to the machine shop and we're going to see if we can get this machine work done this week hopefully maybe this weekend i'm putting the motor together so super excited We decided that since we're going all out with this engine build, 
Just put some main studs in it. It is very important to note that if you do install main studs, you do need to get the block align home. So we actually built this thing a year ago. We started building this for our 81 Toyota pickup truck, our solid axle four wheel drive truck for Toyota Fest 2024. Now, there were some things we didn't like about the machine work, so we just kind of put it together just to get it for the show. Now that we are back, obviously it's been some time ago, pulled the engine back out. We're gonna take it back apart, we're gonna fix a few things, and then we're gonna put it back together. But the real question is this, what do we do with it next? Do we continue to put it in that 80, 81? Four wheel drive, we're gonna break the transmission, break the transfer case, front differential, rear differential. Yeah, let's have fun. Or do we do something different? We put it in our first year fastbacks. We have a 1976 Toyota fastback we could put it in. Maybe a couple turb skis, one right here, one right here, two smaller ones or something. Who knows? Maybe we pick up a street truck, an extended cab Toyota Tacoma street truck, and we do a turbo version uh, in that. Maybe do like an S&P runner or something like that. Instead of an S runner, we do a turbo version of it. This thing will make some good power. I'm gonna try to get probably close to 600 horsepower out of it. I don't see why with the internals we have, why we couldn't get more than that, but we'll give it a try and see what happens. So drop a comment, put something in the comments below, let us know. I think it'd be pretty cool to have this in a Celica, but I think it'd be pretty cool to have an, an extended cab Tacoma street truck. I also think it'd be pretty cool to put in an 81. So I'm leaning towards the 81. My, so Nathan's leaning towards the 81. Drop some in the comments. Tell me what you guys think. Well, thanks guys for watching our video. We really do appreciate it. And yeah, I actually made it to the end. So congratulations. Do all that stalker stuff for us, please. Just do all the, uh, the ring the bell. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, send it to your friends, something like that. For more content like this you want to see, please don't hesitate. Reach out to us. Let us know. I'm more than happy to listen to you guys. And if there's more how-to videos or something like that we can do, we'll see if we can put that in a timeline and make it happen. So. Thanks again. Appreciate it. Have a great day.